We found some suspicious cans in our food storage. What might be lurking in yours? Hey, Provider Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kylene. And one of my goals for the last few months has been to inventory all of our food storage and reorganize it because, you know, how storage rooms go. I want well, to and sure. part of this is that now we're empty nesters and things have changed a little bit. Our diets oh. have changed yeah. a lot. Yeah. So canned milk is something that we used to always keep on hand for a couple reasons. One, it's a great way to store some milk, but then it's also a fabulous foundation for like fudge or caramel, things like that. So it's always good to have some canned milk, but we don't really use canned milk anymore unless it's a holiday thing. So in my organization, I found a case of this canned milk, but when I looked at it closely, it has all this fuzz around the seal. These cans have been compromised in here. One of the other things that I thought was interesting is that if you look at this can, it's from 2006. This is significantly older than this one, and yet this looks pristine, and it was not in a plastic wrap. And then you want to talk about that one? This yeah. one's from 2022. Yeah, we bought it new. to do a video with. This is fairly new and the can generally looks good, except the lid. There's some rust on this lid, which isn't rusting through. So it's probably not a problem. I mean, you, we don't want to have rust all over it, but it is rusting. So trying to identify what is it that's going on here? What are the differences? Are they differences in the materials of the cans? Are they differences, you know, for example, this maybe got frozen somehow, either in a truck or in a, you know, some kind of a case lot sale. Sometimes they have them outside. But it would have had to have happened before we ever got it. Yeah. Because yeah. these have all been stored exactly the same in exactly the same place right. in our basement storage room. My personal vote is that there's a difference in the metal or the quality of the packaging. I used to be able to take these cans and store them for a really long time, but now seeing the difference in these, that tells me that the shelf life of my canned goods has been significantly reduced, whatever the reason is. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this case and we're gonna open a bunch of these. I'm theorizing that the lid's been compromised. If this can leak out of the can, then bacteria can get into it, yeah. making this unsafe for human consumption. So we're gonna do that and we'll let you see what we find. So the first thing we wanna do is smell it, right? It actually smells perfectly fine. So we'll dump it in here. And then let's look at the inside of the can. I'm not seeing any corrosion inside no. the can. No, I don't see anything there's, that's suspicious. There's nothing suspicious. that I would worry about. A lot of times with canned milk, the older stuff will like ha get thicker at the bottom, but I don't see anything on here that worries me, actually. You've got a little bit of, But that, that's, that's just pretty that's, normal. That's totally normal. It's, it turns thick right here. So I think we should probably open up a few more okay. and see if anything's different. This is another one that looks kind of weird. The smell is just normal. Just smells like canned milk. Oops. That one's a little bit lumpy, but maybe we And that shake may be that much. I didn't shake that one. And it's just like interesting. Very interesting. This one, I don't know. I think that one smells a little bit off. This can is definitely sus. I would not use that at all. Okay, what we found actually really surprised us because some of it looked and smelled just fine yeah, in the can. Normal. But then we opened this one and it it didn't like it didn't smell bad. It just smelled a little more like not, powdered milk. Yeah, not like quite it, quite it like wasn't the others. Quite right, but it had what kind of looks like black mold all around the top to me, and then a little clump that sticks on the side. But then John wanted to rinse it, 
because he's like, I think there's corrosion going on here. And if you look really carefully in this can, it is corroding, which means that the metal from the can is getting into your food, which, you know. And that also would like include that. whatever liners in there too is being eaten away. And I don't know what those are made of. Supposedly they're food safe, but I don't know that they're supposed to come apart. And so we don't want that happening with our food. A really good reason why we need to check it. But there's one more thing that I want to do. So we're, we're gonna clean this up, but then I wanna open this one from 2006 because quite frankly, it hasn't been that long ago that I was using these still and I thought they were perfectly fine. So I'm interested to see what it is. I personally think it's the quality of the can that's making the difference. We're cutting corners more and more with packaging yeah. And I think that's what it is personally, but I could be wrong because I'm not the engineer. I'm just the domestic goddess. And I think there's some, some lessons here that we need to learn. And that is that, Rotate. Um, yeah, rotation is probably the big one. And then just keeping an eye on things. I mean, if you pull something out and it doesn't look just right, a crisis is not a good time to have a problem. So sometimes it's just better to dump it because you really don't want to mess with something. And, and in some cases it may be just fine, but I, I lean towards not taking those chances when lives are on the line. So remember, you want to look, if the can is bulging at all, you throw it away. If it smells off, if the color is off, if there's anything that doesn't look normal, it is not worth eating. But this really surprised me because these cans are 2017, October of 2017, right? We're in 2024. So these cans theoretically should have been just fine still. Okay, let's clean this up and let's check out the 2006 because I'm really interested to see about yeah, that one. Me too. This one was for 2006. So that would make it 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And the can looks absolutely perfect. It was stored exactly like those other cans in the same location. And so I'm really anxious to see what that one looks like. I've never opened can melt before and had it be bad. But I've also never had it look like that on the outside. Okay. Well, that one I didn't shake, so it's... So it's Johnny's fault. Yeah. Okay, it smells perfectly fine to me. The yeah. coloring looks a little bit more yellow, and everything looks actually perfectly fine. I don't see anything that worries me. I would feel just fine using this can. And I'm sure that the last time Sam made caramel um, on one of our frugal friendly videos he probably used some of this that one looks perfect to me now this one is from well it expires 2022 so this one is not that old let's see what it looks like yeah, yeah. okay let's see this is much thinner there is a significant color difference between these two this one's a lot darker than this one. And the rule is, if you see a color change, you're not supposed to use it. I would still use that one. So don't ever come over to my house to eat because oh, you she might actually... be eating old food. No, she feeds me very well. I, I'm, one of the points I wanted to make here is that sometimes I've talked to people and they say, well, we just end up throwing all the food storage out so we just have stopped doing it. And it's like, whoa, 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 it's, this is your insurance policy. And occasionally you, we do lose some food, but that's part of the insurance is making sure that we have what we need when we need it. We just have to be careful to make sure that when we do eat it, it's of good quality and we're not going to eat anything that's suspicious. And that's true. And with any insurance policy, how many insurance policies do you actually get to benefit from? right? It, our auto insurance, we pay and pay and pay unless there's some type of an accident. And that's when we get the benefit. Well, you're investing in your food storage, right? You're investing. It's hunger insurance. You're making sure that your family will always be fed. So hopefully you'll be better at rotating your food storage than I am at mine, but I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm always trying. Yeah. I'm always trying. Yeah. And now for the question of the day. What nightmares have you found in your food storage? <laughs> Share with us if you dare. If you dare. And thanks for being part of the solution. <laughs>